cervical mucus after ovulation. Cervical mucus can give you a lot of information about your fertility phase. In fact, every small change in the cervical mucus has its own significance. With the onset of womanhood, a woman's body goes through a series of changes. It is important for her to notice these changes and know the significance of each one. One of them being the changes in the cervical mucus. It is a great way to predict the changes taking place in your body. The type of cervical fluid alerts you about the different stages or cycles of your body. The cervical fluid can actually help you predict your fertile phase, whether or not the implantation has taken place, whether you are pregnant or not, and so on. The cervical mucus in early pregnancy differs from the one in normal course. Let's learn more on this aspect and also about what ovulation exactly is. Ovulation, an overview. Every month, the ovary releases an ovum, also known as the female gamete or simply an egg, that passes through the fallopian tube in the uterus, where it is available for fertilization. The uterus in the meanwhile prepares a thickened lining, in layman's terms, a comfortable bed for the fertilized egg. If the woman is sexually active during these days, which is also called the fertile phase, the sperm fertilizes the egg and implantation may occur in 8-12 days. If there is no conception, then the thickened blood lining and the unfertilized egg both will shed. This is the time of menstruation. During this process, the woman's body goes through a lot of changes that include various hormonal changes as well. The above changes constitute change in cervical mucus, that helps you monitor your fertility phase. About Cervical Mucus Some common questions asked by women interested in tracking their cervical mucus, is how does the cervical mucus look like after ovulation? Can you tell from the cervical mucus if you are pregnant or not? How do you know that you are no longer fertile? Well, find the answers to all these questions, below. Cervical Mucus Before Ovulation Cervical mucus creates a slippery surface to facilitate the sperm to reach the egg and allows it to stay there for longest possible time. But before ovulation or till you reach the fertile phase, there is very little or rather no discharge of the cervical fluid. Hence, during this time, your vulva feels dry and there are absolutely low or no chances of you getting pregnant. Cervical Mucus During Ovulation The first discharge of mucus should be a little sticky, moist and white in color. After this, the transition of mucus begins. After a few days, the mucus becomes cloudy and greater in volume. Now, Right around the ovulation time, the mucus resembles the egg white. It is the most clearest, thinnest, and in abundance. This makes it an ideal environment for the sperm to reach the egg and stay there for a long time to fertilize the egg. During this time, there are high chances of you getting pregnant. Cervical Mucus After Ovulation Post-ovulation the cervical mucus undergoes a marked change in its appearance. It is noticed to be clay-like, thickened, non-stretchy and totally white in color. It is not transparent, rather it is thicker than before, and not see-through in any way. But while this mucus is moist and sticky, it leaves you feeling drier in your vulva than that during ovulation. If implantation has taken place, the cervical mucus suddenly increases in volume. Sometimes, it even has the ting of a brownish or pinkish color. You may also experience some bleeding, called the implantation bleeding. Cervical mucus will help you predict one stage of the cycle to the next. You can also increase your chances of conception by keeping a track of changes in your cervical mucus. Some even track the mucus to avoid pregnancy. You see, our body actually tells us about the best time to get pregnant, and when not to, 